here we go. So shown on this slide, this is a sort of a general overview of the way that replication happens uh, in a picornavirus. So we start out with that positive sense RNA genome. And remember, it's not capped. It has a VPG instead of a cap, but it is polyadenylated down here at the three prime end. And so the first thing that we do is we're going to make a primer, and then we're going to make a negative strand. So we're going to start from the back and go to the front, because remember, the two strands always run in opposite directions every single time. Um, so yeah, we're going to start down at the three prime end of the plus strand, and we're going to make the five prime end of the minus strand. And the primer is going to be that VPG with two U nucleotides on it. And the next slide, we're going to go into exactly how that gets made. Um, and then once we've got a single negative strand, we're going to use this thing as just the template, and we're just going to start running off copies like crazy. So we hold on to the negative strand down here, and you have a bunch of polymerases that are cooperating, and each one is going along and um, making a copy. And as it copies, it sort of peels off the one in front of it, so that may be what the uh, helicase is doing. It may be sitting in front of the uh, polymerase and just sort of peeling up <laughs> all the other uh, copies there. Um, and then once it gets to the end, the polymerase falls off, goes back to this side, starts again, just keeps going, uh, going and going and going. Um, and so each of these little red strands up here is then going to be a, um, a genome. And so we only make genome length RNA. We don't have to worry about any separate RNA, uh, like messenger RNA versus uh, vRNA versus VC, uh, cRNA. Um, or any subgenomic RNAs, all that uh, complexity. Yeah, right out the window, pick coronaviruses. Simple, direct, brutal. That's how they do it. Um, and so uh, shown here, this is a cell. Here's the nucleus over at the side. You can just see it peeking out. And these green things are sites where we're making new RNA from the picornavirus. And so each of these little blobs is a little membrane uh, shelled replication factory that's absolutely covered in copies of the polymerase that are anchored down with things like um, 2AB, for example, would uh, help anchor those polymerase complexes down. <coughs> okay. And like all genome copying polymerases, like all polymerases in the world, they're going to need both a primer and a template in order to begin. Template's the thing you're copying. Primer is the little start, the little, little nudge in the right direction. And we're going to extend a primer. Polymerases can't start, but they can totally extend a primer for as long as they need to until they run out of template. Um, and uh, polymerases only, uh, so that means catalyze means add, you know, it's like they're an enzyme, they're like catalysts really. So they only add nucleotides uh, in a five prime to three prime direction, which means they're basically going to add on to the three prime end and make the three prime end longer. So uh, that's what we're talking about there. And then in this diagram, the uh, negative strand RNA is made uh, from right to left, and there we go, and the positive strand RNA is made from left to right. So just in case, you need a little directionality there, although we do have little arrows here, I guess that helps. Okay, so here's another test question for you. How does the picornavirus make its own uh, primer and do RNA synthesis? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So. There is, in the middle of the genome, in the middle of the plus strand, rather, a sequence called the CRE. And it's the cis-acting replication element. And the CRE can bind directly to VPG. So VPG will stick to the CRE. And at the top of the CRE, there's a little loop. And at the top of that loop, there are a couple of A nucleotides. And you know what? Um, the A nucleotides act as the template, the VPG acts as the primer, and the 3D polymerase, so the regular polymerase, think of it like a 3D printer for RNA only, the 3D polymerase is going to come along and it's going to add two U's that match the two A's in the loop of the cis-acting replication element, the CRE, cis-acting replication element. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's basically uh, just regular old template-dependent uh, synthesis, like the normal way that we make RNA always. <laughs> but uh, we're doing it on a piece of protein instead of a piece of RNA or DNA, like uh, normal polymerases would do. Um, and so once we've made this little thing, this little primer, so it's um, VPG is this sort of dark uh, thing that looks like a Pac-Man, 
and VPG with phosphate and U, phosphate and U, VPG, PU, PU, is then going to go down to the three prime end of the genome, and it is going to bind there, and um, the U's are going to bind to the poly A tail, because of course U binds to A, and then we can start copying. We can start copying the poly A tail and go all the way around and make a complete copy of the entire thing. And so with that, we have just made a negative strand copy of the genome. Then, once we're done with that, we're going to use our CRE, cisacting replication element, again, and we're going to get another VPG, which is uh, really processed from uh, protein, uh, the P3 region, and it's the 3B protein. And so that's just the other name for VPG. And so VPG, we're going to add those U's onto it again, VPG, PU, and PU, and then we're going to take that around to the front of the genome, uh, a front, uh, yeah, the three prime end of the negative strand, which is equivalent to the front of the genome. And you know what's up there? There are a couple A's there. And so the U's are going to bind to the A's. The U's on the VPG bind to the A's at the end of the genome. And boom, it can now start uh, just extending it. The uh, VPG and the two nucleotides uh, are a little primer. And uh, the... RNA polymerase will just extend that until it makes a complete copy of the entire positive strand. And that's it. That's the entire idea. I think I'll do a little uh, chalk talk of this one, but uh, essentially I think you probably already get it. And if not, uh, rewatch this or pause this and have a look at the uh, little figure and the little words at the side of the figure. And they should make it a little bit clearer. I think um, this is a little nicer in color. So we'll try it out in color. All right.